So I started working with Gavin Groves in April 2021. Um, at that point, I'd already had quite a bit of experience in the gym um, when I went to college in the States, but that was more, like, it wasn't very structured. I wasn't uh, too clued up in what I was doing. I was more just kind of lifting heavy things and getting myself into a bit of trouble. And so I um, approached Gav because I wanted to take things a little bit more seriously and I definitely see the value in, you know, the training side of things to me takes care of things when you get out on the, onto the golf course. You know, you, you, you're leaving no stone unturned, so to speak, and um, you're allowing your body to get into a place where it can be as consistent as possible and performing at its best um, on any given day. Yeah, so obviously the main goal with all of this is to prolong my career and, and ensure that I'm physically able to perform at my best for a longer period of time. Um, but then on top of that, like the bonus of it is that I've gained a lot more speed, um, efficient speed I'd call it. When I first started working with Gav, I was maxing out at probably 170 mile an hour ball speed, whereas now I can, I can get at 180, 183 uh, miles an hour. So, Having that in the tank and having that extra gear is definitely handy and also just being able to, I don't have to force it in order to gain that speed. Um, I can still swing within myself and, um, and have that speed at my disposal. So I, I definitely see that as an advantage when I'm playing. Um, having that extra bit of length allows you to hit shorter clubs into the greens and um, yeah, that just, if you, as long as you're managing it well and keeping it in play, it's going to make the game a bit easier. So um, there's a lot of benefit I see in, in all this training and all the hard work that we put in off the course. But like I said, it, it puts me in a place to where once I'm on the golf course, I don't have to worry too much about what I'm doing because I know I've taken care of everything off the course. I love doing um, weight training with Gav. Um, I think just because I'm more comfortable with it. I hate doing cardio so much. Gav loves a, a salt bike exercise and that's my nemesis. Um, but I mean, it's all for, for the greater good, so I do it anyway, <laughs> as, as much as I hate it. But yeah, uh, my favorite would definitely have to be the, the weight training. So I started working with Rupert about two years ago. Uh, I was really excited. I hadn't heard that much about him. I knew of him, but uh, I hadn't had a chance to work with him prior to two years ago. And once we did the initial assessment, he was a very fit looking guy, but functionally he wasn't very great. So. We scored high on the TPI test, his rotation was quite tight. And what we decided to do was make his training a little bit more specific, try and get his rotation better. So over the, the next eight months, you know, he kept dropping the handicap, rotation improved. And what we noticed is that he actually started to almost expose his athletic potential more. You know, the easier his body moved, it was easy to see the transition from fighting the golf swing to actually having something like a, a body as, a, as an asset rather than a liability. So Rupert was really good at, uh, at speed creation. Um, he already had the power, he had the strength, but what we noticed is that he wasn't able to use it as well. And one of the limitations in his body was really his stability. So using his stability and creating better breaks, we were able to uh, unleash his speed a little bit more. So we actually found that by doing stability work, some anti-rotation work, um, we found that it actually helped to increase his club head speed, which was quite phenomenal. And obviously along with club head speed comes ball speed improvements, which is what everyone's after at the moment. So it was really great to see. Um, it wasn't really the goal to try and hit the ball further, but it really was the goal to try and unleash his potential, which is what we did. So one of the questions we asked ourselves is how much more uh, is there to gain out of our training? How much more progress can we make? And the truth is it, it, it kind of is a wormhole that you can find yourself falling into. What we want to try and do is create a functional range where you are moving fast enough, you're moving well enough, you're flexible enough that you can do what you need to do with a golf club. I think there's a danger in the gym especially where you chase you know, personal, personal best in terms of deadlifts and squats and push-ups and, and, and bench press where you're trying to improve your strength but the truth is at the end of the day it doesn't give you the net gains that you're looking for but increases your risk of injury. So we're trying to balance the risk of injury versus the benefit of the training and there is a sweet spot that you can find.